guys, Sizzy album is here. Like, what? I'm sorry. So, for any of you that have been living under a rock, this has been the most anticipated album in the EDM scene for a few weeks now. The Sizzy, The Weight of the World EP, sorry, album. Uh, this has got a total runtime of like 49 minutes. It's been a project for like three years. This is, it's so anticipated, everyone's hype. The biggest of the biggest names in EDM are so excited and saying that this is the album of the year which is wild. So we're gonna react to it. And I'll be honest here, I haven't listened to a lot of Sizzy. I know Sizzy did an EP back in the day that had like a song called Milk on it or whatever. Yeah, Medium Rare Milk. And that was an EP, oh, Please Enjoy Music EP that was released on Never Say Die. That EP was all right for me. Never really fully got into it. There was a few songs that I saved and, and were kind of enjoyable, but I really have not listened to a lot of Sizzy. Just, just being honest here. And the premiere is happening in four minutes. This is about to be insane. This is either going to be one of the best things I've ever listened to and same with everyone else, or this is gonna be like a meh thing for me and then everyone else is gonna be flaming me for not liking it. So I don't know, we shall see. Because the interesting thing is here, we have no preview. There is, there, we have nothing to go off of. I know there's some people that have set their VPN to like another part of the world to listen to this album early. And I'm, and they're all saying it's like album of the year. I'm like, okay, just stop talking. We have no idea what this is going to be like. And it, it is just going to be insane. I don't know what to say. This is, it is just happening. So premiere is happening in three minutes. I'll see you when it's starting. All right, y'all. 23 seconds left. I, I don't know what to feel right now. Like, I feel kind of nervous, honestly. Here we go. All right. This is the first track, Can You Keep Up Intro. I don't know if this is going to be just audio or if it's going to be like video stuff either. I have no idea. Wow, I love that build. Okay, I feel like I'm at like a live concert right now. That That's what that felt like, holy crap. Man, I love the, the synth keys in the back. I love what's happening right now, not gonna lie. Oh, here we go. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm not actually feeling this idea. I'm not gonna lie with you. I wasn't expecting the intro to actually be a full song. I was expecting it to be an intro for the album, you know? Like, the sound design is actually good. Everything's there. I'm just, I don't know about the, um, the idea, personally. I like everything but the drop right now. Like, that middle section was just really, um, powerful. And so was the intro. I, I don't know. Okay, this is track two. I L U U U U. I I think it's just gonna be this the entire time. So hold on. All right, I think that's what I'm gonna go for right now. Might change it. I don't know. I thought it was gonna be like a full movie, but it makes sense that it's not. That, that's a lot of work. I like where this is headed right now. I don't feel like there's much as much impact as there was in the intro song. So I'm really curious where this is headed. I'm liking it, I'm just curious. I, I, don't, I actually have no idea yet. Y'all are gonna hate me. Y'all are gonna hate me. But that's okay, music is subjective. Uh, I don't like that high part. Again, once again, I like this midsection. I think the intro uh, from this song compared, compared to the intro 
was better in the intro than this one, but this midsection is amazing. I, I'm really, again, I'm not sure on the drop. Like, I think everything in the sound design was good except for that high-end squeaky thing. It was done well. Like, it wasn't annoying or weird or squeaky. I just didn't like it. I still don't know if I'm on the idea. I'm not gonna lie, which is so weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't think I'm liking the idea. Um, that snare is really good though, and the low end is really powerful and punchy. And not with the high end stuff. I'm just I think for me it's the idea and the high end is is what's getting me. We shall continue. Because I'm sure everyone's gonna love that song and I'm gonna get absolutely punched in the face for not. It is what it is. And again, like, I'll, I'll give it more listens. This is just my first listen. I'm just meh. All right, this is Get a Grip with Neonix. We have already listened to this. Um, I did not. I did this on stream, though. I did not make a short on it, though. Um, but I have listened to this and I saved it. Uh, I like to take my energy better, but this one was pretty good. So I'm down to listen to it again because this is, won't be my first listen. So I'll be able to hear more things. I think I've listened to this song a few times since uh, I first listened to it as well. So, and I'm a fan of Neonix for the most part. Sometimes he gets a little too quirky for me, but for the most part, he's a really good creator. Torsian with Sudden Death and Neonix is probably one of my favorite songs that he's been on, but also the lead tapes were really good. Yeah. I remember liking this one. All right, here's second drop. I like those half tones going down. This is a much more uh, sissy drop here, and I'm still down for it. I don't think it's the best one on the album because I've heard Take My Energy as well. That's the other, or the only other one that I've heard. And that one was amazing because it was melodic. This is the best track on here so far, for sure. I do think the intro as well, now I'm thinking about it a bit more, it's probably gonna grow on me. But as a first listen, I just didn't grasp it fully. I'm also seeing that this entire album is linked together, which is super cool. Oh gosh, I totally forgot about that. Uh, I'm half and half on that. Yeah, I'm definitely half and half on that. That's some. That's not something that I'll be like, oh yeah, I want to go back to, but it's not something that I'll skip per se. All right, here's track four, In Your Face. I'm seeing the next two tracks is Heart 123 and Take My Energy respectively. So I'm hoping that this one, as well as what it's sounding, is what it's sounding like. I'm hoping that this one will be melodic. I think there I'll get able to I'll be able to get back into it. Oh, that took a completely different turn. Oh, I like that fill. That fill was really cool. Yeah, man. I don't know. I just, I, it's just not for me. I feel like I listen to the similar or the same type of music all the time. I don't know what it is about it. I think it's just the idea, which it's not like the idea is inherently bad. It's just an idea that I don't like, if that makes sense. Much more tangible. But also that low end is distorted to the point of no return and therefore it doesn't sound good. That might grow on me. I don't know. I wish there was more of a rich deep end there for low end. Sorry. And again, this is all just personal preference. Like this is just what I would do if I was making it. I do like this part. This part's very chimey, very happy. I like this. This is the first thing I actually really like. That high end is done well. It's not annoying like previously. It was a little bit previously in the previous two tracks. That was awesome. I actually really like that. 
I still wish the low end was more rich and not distorted and broken. Um, that's just a personal preference. I think for melodic stuff, I wish that it was more natural sounds and not distorted and um, defaced with effects, if that makes sense. So anyways, here's track five, Heart 123 with Camo. If this is going melodic, I know I'm gonna love this. Please let this be melodic, because I know Take My Energy is. It's, it's held back, it's held back, not gonna lie. The idea is great, but I feel like the master is being held back by at least 40%. I feel like it can be so much more louder, so much more clean and rich. That's also the sound design of Sizzy. Man, I'm, I'm dissing on this. I kind of feel bad, but it's like, music is subjective. I've said this so many times, music is subjective. It's about what the, what the listener wants to hear. Okay. This part is way better and therefore that might make that first part grow on me a bit more. That was dope. That part was great. I really liked that one. See, that did not feel held back at all. That first part did though. Lux? Lux is in the chat. Oh my gosh. I haven't... He was one of the first people I've ever listened to. That's wild. For dubstep, underground dubstep. He's amazing and he disappeared. I like this. I still am standing by the fact that it feels held back, but it's much more, um, I can get into it more. Oh, okay, I'm down for a little part. Yeah, this is really cool. I like this part. I, this track will probably grow on me for sure. Okay, that's our first non-link. This is track six, Take My Energy. I remember this one being melodic and re I remember liking this one. I'm, I think. I, I'm trying to remember because I really have not listened to the two songs too much. All right, here we go. Yes, I was right. I was right. I remember. I love this one. I love the idea and the execution of this. And it, the bass, it, the low end is clean. Oh, yeah, I could totally buy it to this. I need to listen to this track more, for real. Oh, this is the best track by far. It still has a Sizzy sound, and even though I'm not an avid Sizzy listener, and I haven't really listened to a lot of their music, I know that it has a Sizzy sound from just listening to this album, but it has that rich, clean, and clear bass. It's not overtaken by effects or anything, and so it has that punchiness and that power. And that's what I've been missing in the previous tracks, is that it just feels held back, uh, and it feels way too distorted uh, and has too much effects on it. Obviously, that's their style, so I'm not saying for them to not do that, it's just they're not connecting with me in that way with a rich clean bass that's that's where you get me and that's what just happened so i love this song i forget what happens here obviously it's a second drop i'm just hoping it changes i totally forget that's a long fake out that kick and clap is so good. Yeah, oh, and that fill with this little swipes. Yeah, no, this is by far the best song so far. Can't tell if the links are actually like in the songs or if it's just in the video. Not totally sure. This is track seven, Caught Up in Circles. We got four tracks left. Oh. I actually really like this. It feels really minimalist and simplistic. 
the idea really comes in in the the flow and the sounds and the fills. That's where I'm getting it. I actually really like this and that stutter. I love that pitch bend up. Yeah, this one's also good. This, I, I really like this one, not gonna lie. And a complete change of sound there, oh my gosh. Oh boy, something's about to happen. Something's about to happen. Here we go. This, this is like the second best song right now, in my opinion. That is good. I don't know what it is about it either. That's just such a beautiful song. Very simplistic in that I think that's what's really drawing me here. It's the sounds used and the idea is, um, is the unique part about it, but it's so simplistic. That's really what is drawing me in. It's just easy to understand and easy to easy to resonate with, you know? All right, this is track eight, Dope One with Oldswell. Wow. The ambiance right now, oh my gosh. This is reminding me of like No Taker. I'm, I'm actually kind of terrified, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so where is this going? Dubstep. What are the sounds and the note choice? I'm sorry. What? This is the this is the best heavy one for sure. Oh my gosh. The low end feels there and it feels present, but like the sounds are just so goofy, but they hit. What in the world was that? Like genuinely, I don't even know. And the fact that this has melodic elements in it too, just, yeah, dude. It's like a movie soundtrack. So many emotions are piled into this one song. I see why some people are saying this is the album of the year and it would be album of the year for me, potentially if I was more into Sissy style. But these past three songs have been awesome. So I'm really curious for the next two, especially because one of them is like six minutes long, if not more. Are you kidding? Too long of a break for me. And the low end is not there. I wish the low end was there more, but I love how, where this went. I love this. Yeah, way too long of a break. Love the pulsing, whatever the, yeah, this, that's awesome. That's really dope, the name of the song, you know? I just wish the low end was more present. And I wish the, the two breaks in there were not as long as they were. All right, track nine, Experience Higher. This track, I wanna say is is quite long. Let me go look. This track is seven minutes and two seconds. A lot of these tracks are actually really long. There's only two tracks on here that's under four minutes, which is quite wild. Oh, this is gonna be heavy. Oh. What in the world? I thought this was gonna be melodic, just from the name, but uh, no. No, it's not. I, I'm watching from a register stream. He just got out of his chair. We're having the same thing right now. What? The low end is here. The low end is here. That's why this hits so differently and, and hard. I'm sorry, what? He's gone. He's on the floor right now. Oh my gosh. We literally just had the same thing happen, dude. See, where is this going? I will say Sizzy has really outdone themselves in the surprise factor. 
I have, I genuinely have no idea where any of this is going. I knew that this was going to be heavier just from the sounds at the beginning, but now I don't know where it's going at all. I'm like being transported dimensions or something. Yeah, this is a little too much. I like the beginning, but this has like been like two minutes at this point. Is this like just the rest of the song? Cause like, okay, I'm not, I, I, I look like I'm mad, I'm not. I'm just like, this. it's been like three minutes of just static. The intro and the first drop was insane. But then we have three minutes of static and I'm like, that is not worth listening seven minutes for, if that makes sense. Unless if there's something here after, but like at that point I would rather just skip to it. Cause that was just a lot of, I mean, that was just a lot of, um, I don't want to say nothing, but just a lot of the same thing. A little bit of that is cool, but for three minutes, now we're pushing on four. I don't know. I respect it though, because like some of that stuff is obviously going to be hard to do and it's clearly artistic. I'm cool with that. I just don't know if I listen to that, you know, like, is there anything of value for me for what I want? Probably not. Very atmospheric. I just don't think I would listen through that just because I want to listen through it. You know what I mean? All right, track 10, Dancing on My Own. I don't I don't know if I like that swipe. It sounds like it's fading up and fading out. It's kind of poppy though. I really like the, like the marimba type vibe in the back right now. I, I, I'm getting with this for sure. I like this a lot, actually. Definitely not one of those things where I like lose my mind to, but this is like an, um, just like a feel good song, you know? I really like this. Really like all the sounds that are being used. The low end is present. So many ideas at the top just being, you know, thrown out. I, I really like this, really like this. The keys in the back that go down really atmospheric i love that sound that type of sound yeah i dig it i don't really know what else to say i like it definitely not my favorite but it's, it's cool it's cool this outro is awesome reminding me of the beginning well there it is I'm messaging. That was um that was an album for sure. I think a lot of people are going to be saying this is album of the year. I'm not agreeing with that. Um however, that's all subjective taste. So, there were some amazing songs on here. If I have to give a favorite, um of the melodic ones, Take My Energy for sure is my favorite. Of the heavy ones, Dope One is probably my favorite. That last track was really cool though. A very um, very laid back and chill tune. Um, but then caught up in circles and the first part of experience was really cool. So, uh, definitely the latter half of the album is my favorite. So yeah, what an album that is definitely an album for sure. So let me know what your thoughts are. Obviously, I think most people, if not, everyone's going to like it more than me, but let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.